Here we go. Christian here with cheap beat up Elvis vinyl. Well, last video after yammering on endlessly about subscriptions, guess what happened? We gained some subscribers. We gained two. We lost three, but we gained two. So that's two steps forward, three steps back. Truth is, we gained over 40 subscribers. So thanks to everyone who subscribed. We appreciate it. And if you know someone who may be interested in Elvis stuff, suggest it to them. We're just trying to have a little fun with Elvis, spread a little bit of Elvis to everybody. So a kind of cool thing happened. I was in, down here we have, I don't know, I guess you probably have it all over the country here in America, dollar stores. So I'm in the dollar store and look at this beautiful little Elvis magazine. They had a whole stack of them. So I picked up a couple of them. I know Gianna picked up one too. Anyway, it's not totally about Elvis, but it's a lot about Elvis. Here you go. Here's an old Elvis on tour. I think that's from when it, the movie originally came out. Yeah. Rated G. And then there's just some Elvis information up in here. Some really cool little articles. There you go. The articles are informative and the items that they show are pretty cool. Pretty interesting. I like these old Elvis pennants. They also have stuff about Graceland. A couple of quizzes about Elvis. I made a hundred. That was out of a hundred. They also have a couple cool little things up in here. They have some stuff about the monkeys, the Beatles, David Cassidy. He's dreamy. Little thing about Kiss. Like a lot of collectible stuff, but it's mostly Elvis stuff. Uh, let's see, back here. Elvis crossword puzzle, nice little peach oil of Elvis. Some more Elvis stuff. And then on the back here is, says 1960 re release, when they re released Jailhouse Rock. So really cool. For a buck. Well, used to be a buck. Dollar Tree has been forced to go up to a dollar twenty-five each. So it was a dollar twenty-five, which was fine. Now down here, right outside of New Orleans, it's Mardi Gras time, which means everyone is nuts. But I still was able to get down to retro music in downtown Covington and do a little Elvis hunting. And there was a P raid passing right in front of Retro. Here's what happened. We're here at Retro Music, and there's a Mardi Gras parade passing right in front of it. But first, let's see if they got some Elvis. Here's a gold standard, red label. Whenever I see these red labels, I always pick them up. Here you go, box of 45s. Time to start digging. So I'm digging through lots of 80s stuff. And look what comes up. Can you believe it? Beautiful. Never know what you're going to find in these crates. Well, it's raining. But it's still packed.
met my future ex-wife and I picked up a couple of cool items. First up, a red label of You Don't Know Me, Big Boss Man. As you know here on Beat Up Elvis Vinyl, the more beat up it is, the better I like it. And this one's very cool because as you can, I don't know if you can see that, someone put a drink on this thing. And apparently it was a cup full of acid or something because it ate right into the label and it left a ring on the record. And you know what? That's just how I'm going to leave it. I really like these red labels. I was doing a little reading on them. This one came out in 1970. Now, uh, from what I understand, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but uh, none of the red labels had picture sleeves. So when you see a red label, just go ahead and pick it up. If you're trying to complete a collection of Elvis 45s, you're finished once you get it. Now I always put them in. I, I don't think this is the correct sleeve. I'm pretty sure it's not the correct sleeve, but I always put them in the red sleeves just because I like the way it looks. So when you see those red labels, go ahead and get them. I always pick those up. I always pick up the orange labels or anything that's not a black label, I pick it up. Another one that I picked up, uh, if you've watched some earlier episodes, let's see. For this EP, I picked up that cover for a buck. My favorite. I mean, this is just so cool. I picked up the cover for a buck, really beat up, but it uh, didn't have the record in it. So then I, but I had the record at home because whenever I see these EPs, I pick them up and I just hold on to them and hopefully I'll run across uh, a cover. It's happened twice. It happened with that one and it happened with uh, the red one that I think is This Is Elvis or it just says Elvis Presley. So this one here is the Blueberry Hill one. Apparently, if you look at the piece of tape on there, the Blueberry Hill EP, but apparently uh, it looks like Paul had 10,400 and Alan had 70774. Now that's kind of a zip code down here, so maybe maybe that was his zip code, but 10400, that's not a zip code down here. I don't know, but anyway, so I'll pick this one up. I'll go ahead and just throw it in the box and maybe one day I'll come across that cover empty now this one I picked up this isn't this isn't an Elvis but I couldn't pass it up I love the cars not a big fan of this song you might think but the b-side is a song called heartbeat city which I think is one of their most beautiful songs so my buddy Manny would love that one too so I couldn't pass it up. It was Buck. And then we come to the bell of the ball. As you saw in the video, I was looking through a, a crate. And you know how it is. You look through a 400 records, hoping to get one, 500, 600. And right behind a whole bunch of 80s stuff. Bananarama. The Bangles. This was sitting in there. Usually when I'm looking through a crate, you probably have the same experience. You're looking through and you, there's a bunch of 80s stuff. Then you start hitting some stuff and it's 60s, 70s stuff. And it might be an Elvis up in there. But this was just all 80s and this. I was really surprised. Anyway, I scooped it up. Even though I have a copy of it, I just couldn't pass it up. It was, it was a buck. It's in great shape. And I even thought for a minute, I said, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't, I already have one. Maybe I shouldn't take this and I should leave it for the next guy. And I thought, well, what if I am the next guy? What if I'm the next guy that it was left for? And then I, well, is that, and then I got into a big, existential crisis and it was easier just to buy it for a dollar than to try and figure out that hall of mirrors that I was walking into so beautiful 
King Creole, of course, down in this area. This is a cool one because lots of little... And when I was a little kid going to places, like looking down on the quarter and going, hey, that looks kind of like where they did that shot, you know? And uh, the 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 shot where they're on the wharf, where he's out on the wharf with um, with the gal, that was shot right here on the North Shore where I live. And I, I used to try and pick out where it was. So that was, so it was a good, it was a good little haul. Retro music is a great place. If you're in Covington, come on down and check it out. As far as subscriptions, appreciate everyone who subscribed. If you like this, subscribe and like it. We also had the most likes last on the last video that we've had, and it was the uh, fastest viewed video. Uh, the numbers went up real quick on it. So I looked at the analytics on YouTube, and I, I can't make anything out of it. I don't know what it is apparently 77 percent of the subscribers won't watch the video if it's a odd numbered day and they live in cleveland and it's raining it's a lot of information but i don't understand it baby so anyway if you like it hit the like subscribe if you don't subscribe twice thank you Elvis. Okay, fine.